Hello Taurus, this is you versus them for the 12th through the 18th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what you guys have been dealing with, what you've been doing. Let's see. Taurus. Hmm. Balancing. I feel um, maybe a lot of you have, you know, just trying to figure out what has really been what is really the deal extending yourself to a situation i feel with this okay so you're kind of kind of going back and forth um being unsure about if you've actually done enough done the right thing you know something of that nature could be a capricorn you guys are dealing with i feel gemini as well let's see what your other person your person rather, not your other person that has been dealing with. Um, maybe they are very conflicted, having a hard time moving on from you guys um, even, okay? Let's see. Six of Wands. Leo energy there. I feel that this person is probably, um, there's something they're finding success around in their life that's happening pretty pretty good for them, I feel. Um, I do get this person is probably very confident um, they're probably very attractive. They, they, they like being around people. They like talking to people, being with people, that sort of thing. Okay. Um, they may be dating, but you know, that's not really my card for dating there, but I do feel like they interact with people a lot. Okay. Let's see what's keeping you guys from this person. These cars are doing something crazy here. What's keeping Taurus from this person? Maybe you guys have just been focusing on your work. Just, you know, focusing on you, your business, what have you. But feeling sad. Feeling sad surrounding something. Feel like Feeling like you guys, there's a missed opportunity here. Um, feeling as though, you know, there's no possibility of reconnection. Feeling like all is lost. That you guys will never, you know find anything that that sings to your heart is what this card is and i feel like you know your work life is good your finances are, are decent here but i think that this is more about your time spent with a with this connection or with a connection here and feeling feeling hurt surrounding something okay let's see what's keeping them from you What's keeping them from Taurus? I saw that strength card there. Ten of Pentacles. Let's see. What's keeping them from Taurus? They have the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. At this point, they really don't know. They're, they're struggling moving on. I think that they're probably hiding behind um some things to help them like gain some 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 balance some momentum in their life but i think that they are definitely struggling as you guys probably are with moving past this this situation that you guys are sharing between the two of you scorpio leo energy is here now Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. Hmm. The five of Wands is there. Some conflict, I feel. Something that you're thinking about heavily. Three of Swords, I see there. Five of Swords. I feel like you guys really want to fight for something. But you're not sure if either it's worth it. If it is possible that would happen, um, you're struggling, I feel. And you have two fives here. You know, 555 is like this breakdown. It's like this shift, something sudden that you guys realize or something sudden that happens that kind of shifts your perspective. And so I feel like before you were trying to figure out how you really felt about something okay and you kind of were going back and forth on if you know this was something this connection was something real um or not 
or if your feelings were this strong for this person or not. And I think that's where your your juggling is coming from because it's like um, you thought you were done with this. But now I think that you guys are really, most of you are feeling like this is not over or you don't want it to be over. Willing to fight for this thing, but not sure if it's too late even is what I'm getting from you. Is it too late? You know, hmm. I feel a lot of you guys are also having regrets surrounding something, okay? For sure. Maybe um, you guys were juggling people or this person was juggling people, you and someone else. But definitely feeling hurt surrounding something here. One more shuffle, guys. Let's see what they're currently dealing with here. The King of Wands. Hmm. They're really trying to find something that, that you know makes them feel good, build them up, finding their confidence, standing in their power, standing in their element. Um, could be definitely a Leo you guys are dealing with here, Capricorn individual. But they're definitely um, being kind of stubborn and feeling like they are doing the right thing for them. Feeling very confident, I feel, this person, okay? And, and trying to move on. Can I see you guys with this Queen of Wands here? Let's see. What is influencing you guys here? What's influencing Taurus right now? What's influencing Taurus? Six of Cups. The memories. The memories of what you guys had. The memory, the good times. The good times. This is your soulmate. I feel like you guys know this now. I don't know if you knew it before, but I think maybe some of you are just coming, coming to grips with the idea of soulmate. I'm not sure, or either the other person is, but I think that nevertheless, you guys are thinking about the fact that, you know, you had some really good times with this person. This person felt like family to you and, um, you, might, you guys may have kids together. Maybe you missed your kids. Um, maybe just miss the family life here for some of you. Missing that, like, that really connected, being connected with people um, on a different level, that sort of thing. Let's see what's influencing them. What's influencing them? The Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, this is all about building their confidence up, building their self-confidence up, um, feeling good by themselves, knowing that they don't need anyone else. There's nobody else that I need to make me happy. Okay, this is what this person is is. That's what that's where they're trying to get to. And I feel like they kind of. They kind of go back and forth with certain things, but I think most of this is not really focused on you guys or anyone else. It's all about building up their confidence, building up their stature, um, just coming to grips with being by yourself and being good with that is what I'm getting from this, this person, this individual, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. What's coming in for Taurus? Coming in for Taurus. It's coming in for Taurus. Hmm. This is five 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 too for me. Okay. Um, and this is that major shift that I was telling you guys about with these fives. That um, there, there are some changes going on and, and these changes do not feel good, but they are preparing you for something greater, something good. Okay. And I feel like there's a lot that you guys are struggling with dealing with the past, but there's something coming in. I feel like to shake you guys up, to really get you going. As far as this connection is concerned, if you guys are wanting this back, um, I think a lot of you are waking up more and more to 
um, different ideas, um, different different ways of moving and thinking and believing. You know, maybe some of you are um, moving house even. Okay. But there's something coming in for you guys, I feel like. And, and it probably is not going to feel good when when it does, okay? And, and this is not to scare you. But when you can prepare for what may be coming, then you can better adjust to it. Just kind of go with the flow of the universe. Go with the flow, okay? And, and don't try to fight things because it's for your own good here. Okay, guys? So definitely something coming in for you guys. Let's see what's coming in for them. Four of Swords. Hmm. I think they're, this person is just really um, trying to find their way. They're just trying to find their way. And and I think it's separate from you guys, okay? This is all about them and their stability, their mental stability, um, where they devote their time and energy to. They're, they're trying to figure out like a nice balance um, in their lives. I'm surprised there's temperance is not here because this is all about them and their stability, where they're going from here. How can they be better? I feel like this is a decent person that you guys are um, thinking about dealing with here. Okay. Let's see what the blockage is for you. What is the blockage for Taurus? What's the blockage for Taurus? Ten of Wands. I think it's facing the situation, honestly. Facing the reality of the situation. I think that, you know, mostly, you know, you're thinking about like the good times that you guys shared. This is for you to accept the reality of the situation. Yeah, there are there are good times that you guys share. There are also bad times that you guys share. There are things that you disagreed on. There was major conflict here. There was draining energy here as well. But where is that draining energy coming from? Is it coming from you, them, or both of you? Nine times out of 10 is both of you. Okay. And so, and I feel like that's where this tower is coming in at. It's like, you know, basically <clears throat> taking accountability for whatever it is that you guys felt that you did in this relationship because we can't fix anybody else okay but i feel like this person has been doing the work i feel like they've had their tower moment honestly okay so don't think that it missed them but i feel like they've had their tower moment this person where they've realized some things and because I see them focusing on themselves, working on themselves. This is what I see in them, progression. Okay. So I think this is all about accepting responsibility and, and really kind of waking up to what is really going on here. Or what really has happened between the two of you. Let's see what their blockage is here. Now keep in mind this energy can go vice versa because this could very well be you guys down here. You know, steady on your progression, already have got gone through your tower moment where, you know, you really felt brought down to your knees already. You've already had your five of cups moment, your five of pentacles moment, your five of wands moment. You know, you've already gone through that. Whoever this is has already gone through that, I feel. Okay. Because we start off with the six of wands here. So it's like they, they have come out of that, that conflict stage, whoever this is, and they're moving towards success. Let's see what their blockage is here. What is their blockage? The person that Taurus is dealing with, their blockage. The Empress. Hmm. The Empress is all about new beginnings, growth, happiness, um, being very supportive. I feel like this person is wanting to, to start over, do something different, 
um, go in a different direction okay and I feel like they're not opening up to growing with you guys is what's blocking them from you um, they are all about progression they're focused on themselves they're not lending this energy to this connection or any connection honestly and truly at this point their their soul their sole focus is on them and building themselves up doing what they need to do here let's see what your advice is what is Taurus's advice here Taurus's advice and I feel like this person's probably trying to start a business too or either they already have and um, they're working they deal with a lot of people here let's see what your advice is here reconnect reconnect if this is if you want to reconnect with this person if you want to reunite with this person this is reuniting but first you have to like bridge that gap reconnect if you guys are not talking reach out can we have a drink can we talk if this is what you want you know okay and and you can't be in the five of cups energy where you're feeling so hurt and you know deprived and and feeling like all is lost because because this won't happen and the six of cups energy coming back together that will not happen first you have to get up you have to get up and say I can go on I can at least try to fix this if you guys are the one that actually needs to initiate something here but yeah reconnect reach out that would be the advice as I split the deck Two of Cups there. If you guys need reassurance that this person still loves you, they do. They do. That Two of Cups is back there. They do. Then as I split it again, the Six of Cups, they know they're your soulmate. Somebody walked away here, though. Whether it's you or them. Only you guys know that. Somebody walked away. Okay? Somebody decided that. Somebody decided that. After you walked away that they were letting it go or after they walked away you guys decided that you were letting it go all right Whew. okay the advice for them is a the king of Pentacles I think it's to to be there to because the the king of Pentacles is looking right at the Empress that new beginning, that new spark. Come back. Want to reunite, want to get back together, want to, you know, grow this relationship, take it to new levels, new depths. You know, this is being interested. Interested in a new start, okay? And I feel like whether this is a male or a female energy down here, this person. I feel like you know needs to, to to have control here needs to exhibit control not over you know you but over their emotions their time their energy and to be committed to be committed to actually you know growing investing in this relationship in this connection here okay let's see what the outcome is for you guys here what is the outcome you guys and I think it's to accept you to be honest with you if you guys decide to reconnect here I think this is all about accepting you accepting whatever it is that you guys are bringing um, whether it's to to um, you know go out to drink or not to drink but you know to reunite to have a have a drink cocktail or whatever to discuss um, you know those issues that you guys need to discuss judgment what will you do what will you what will you do I feel like you guys have the final judgment here what will you do with it okay what will you do but Let, let's, let's see what their outcome is here what will you do let's see there's just a chariot moving on moving on successfully 
But the chariot for me is the chariot for me is um, this is somebody that's moving on by themselves. To be honest with you, they're doing things that they feel like is right for them. Okay. But I think to keep this person, not really to keep them from moving on, but to give them something to think about, I feel like, you know, it's up to you guys to make this, this judgment here, this final judgment. You have three endings here. And um, it's up to you guys if you want to reconcile, try to bring this back, I feel. It's up to Taurus. Okay, so we have um, Scorpio. Scorpio, I feel like, is strong here. Scorpio, Cancer, um, Libra, Aries, I feel, Leo, Virgo energies here, Capricorn energies here, um, maybe Sagittarius, even Aquarius as well, okay? So that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.